close this one out even though it's a friendly? No, I don't think it's about the the win or the loss of this thing. We have to, um, we don't have a lot of time to continue to uh, you know, not take step forward. We have to continue to take step forward. A lot of these you know teams that we're playing have been practicing either one month or months in advance, um, and we're like maybe two weeks into it together. So. Um, every game, every film session, we get an opportunity. We have to try to make the most of it, not take any steps uh, back. And um, doesn't matter, you know, when it comes to how close the game is or not. Do we get better? I feel like in the first half, uh, we allowed them to get comfortable. Comfortable, you know, they started hitting threes. Um, and then in the second half, we played our style of basketball. I mean, we only gave up what, 40, 38, uh, 44 points in the second half. You know, that's pretty good compared. So almost, you know, almost 60, you know, in the, in the first half. So um, that's good for us. No, we can't make it with the right mindset. I mean, don't take nothing away from Thompson Dan. They played extremely good basketball. Um, and you know, that's why the game is won in between the lines and not, you know, on paper. You know, so, uh, you know, they got better. We, we got better at certain parts of the game. And, uh, you know, but you know, going on to our next opponent, we we'll, we'll look forward to that as well. That's another opportunity for us to get better and continue to improve. And uh, it should be fun. It's worldwide. I think South Sudan one is very well coached. Uh, obviously, the real idea over there is uh, you know, I've been around the game. I've been around the NBA for quite a long time. Um, so he knows the game. Obviously, Lou Alpang is over there as well. So he knows the game. So you know, to have that representation, to have that type of leadership over there, uh, teaching them the right way how to play the game, um, you know, it definitely uh, it, it is good. I mean, it's great, actually. You know, so, um, you know, the game is worldwide, and it's not one place that, you know, that you don't see the game being played, and, you know, um, and that's, I think that's the beauty of it. You know, the game of basketball brings together so many people, um, and you're able to build uh, so many brotherhoods and sisterhoods, or whatever the case may be, uh, by playing the game of basketball, and it can take you places that you just never thought you would be able to go. Well, it's uh, Ronnie James, going to be his career unit here at USC. Um, our question is, what, what's the most confident builder that you would advise the young players in the UK to build their confidence to play better basketball in the UK? Uh, when it comes to confidence, uh, I think uh, there's no substitution for the work. Um, you know, you just have to put the work in. If the, if the sport of basketball is what you, you know, want to do and you have a passion for it and love for it, then, you know, you have to put the work in and find ways to play the game find ways to train, find ways to get better, watch the game, study the game, you know, and I think it all pays, I think it all pays off. I think when you, when you give to the game, the game automatically reciprocates it to you and you're, you're very uh, passionate about, you know, you know giving it all and, and, and actually having a, a mindset of like, I really love this and it's something I want to do. So, you know, I think it's all about the work. Women in the gray jacket and then the white tee.